Hi, Joel MD here, also known as Dr. Bones of the survival medicine website doomandbloom.net and an author of books like the Survival Medicine Handbook, Alton's Antibiotics and Infectious Disease, and Alton's Pandemic Preparedness Guide. Wildfires continue to rage throughout the American West, and although most wildfires are caused by humans, lightning strikes have been identified as the culprits for some of this year's biggest blazes. Many of us associate lightning with rainstorms, but dry lightning appears to be involved in causing the latest fires. Certain storms produce thunder and lightning without any appreciable rain, as moisture evaporates before reaching the ground. These are not uncommon in drier areas of the country. A lightning bolt is a discharge of a large amount of electricity in the atmosphere or between the atmosphere and the ground. Air normally acts to insulate the positive and the negative charges in clouds. At one point, however, the difference between the two is so great that electricity is generated and released. The temperature of a bolt of lightning can reach several times that of the surface of the sun. Most lightning events occur high in the atmosphere within a cloud or from cloud to cloud. Cloud to ground strikes, however, are more responsible for injuries to humans. In recent years, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, has reported dozens of annual lightning strike fatalities. Although the death rate from a lightning strike hovers around 10%, the grand majority of survivors do suffer some form of lasting ill effect. What about thunder? Thunder is a sound caused by nearby lightning as it passes through the air. The discharge heats the air to as high as 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit for a fraction of a second, causing air to rapidly expand and then contract. This produces a sound wave that we hear as thunder. When you listen to thunder, the first rumble is created by the part of the lightning channel that's closest to you. Continued rumbling comes from portions of the lightning that are farther away. Now, can you tell how far away a lightning strike is? If you hear a cracking or a very loud booming sound, well, that means the lightning was very close. More of a rumble, it was probably several miles away. To hear thunder at all, the flash has to be probably within about 10 miles. As the speed of sound is about 343 meters per second, a space of about 5 seconds between a flash and an associated thunder equals about a mile. Count the number of seconds and divide by 5 to calculate the distance to the lightning strike. As an aside, by the way, two of Santa's reindeers, Donner and Blitzen, are named after the Germanic words for thunder and lightning. There are a number of ways in which a person may be struck by lightning. Direct strikes, a person struck directly by a lightning bolt, that person is usually out in the open. The electricity moves along the skin and across the body's cardiovascular or nervous systems, causing burns, but cardiac arrest from the current in the body, that's more likely to actually be the cause of death. Ground strikes may occur also. When lightning strikes, say, a tree, energy travels outward along the ground. This is known as ground current. Anyone near a lightning strike could be a victim. As a matter of fact, this form of lightning strike causes the most injuries and deaths. A side strike can also occur. That's more commonly known as a side flash or a side splash. It occurs when lightning strikes a taller object, say, again, say a tree, near the victim. Some of the current jumps from the original target of the strike, the tree, to the victim, who's usually a very short distance away. That's why you shouldn't take cover under a tree if you can at all help it. A conduction strike can also occur. Lightning can travel or be conducted along long distances and wires and other metal surfaces that help provide a path for it to travel. If you're in contact with the wire fence that lightning strikes some distance away, you might be affected. Inside, anything or anyone connected to wiring, plumbing, or other metal surfaces could serve as a conductor. And then there are streamer strikes. Streamers aren't as common a cause of lightning injury, but are still dangerous. As the downward moving electrical charge, called the step leader, approaches the ground, electrical streamers are produced that rise from ground-based objects, even a person. If a person's involved, they could be killed or injured, even if the streamer didn't connect with the step leader itself. The effects of lightning on the human body vary based on the amount of current traveling through the body. You might see cardiac arrest or irregular beat patterns like arrhythmias, respiratory arrest or lung inflammation, ruptured eardrums, deafness, eye damage, blindness, burns, mental changes such as memory deficits or sleep disorders, nerve damage such as numbness or pain, and much, much more. Let's talk a little bit about lightning safety. 
When thunder roars, go indoors. It's important to realize that being outside is dangerous whenever a thunderstorm is in progress. If you can hear thunder, you're in danger of being hit by lightning for up to 30 minutes after the last rumble. Get inside a sturdy building or a metal top vehicle, windows up, as quickly as you possibly can. Strive to avoid being the tallest object in the area. Even when there are taller objects like trees or utility poles, stay away from them. Lightning will likely target them, especially if they're isolated. Avoid touching metal. It doesn't attract lightning, but it conducts it for 100 feet or more. Once inside, stay off computers and other electrical equipment. Avoid touching plumbing like sinks or faucets. And stay away from doors, windows, and porches. Don't lean against anything metal or concrete. Lightning can actually travel through any metal wiring or bars that even could be in concrete walls or the flooring. Cardiac arrest is the most common immediate cause of death. This person needs first aid immediately. Call for help and begin CPR. If there's an automated external defibrillator available, use it. Get the victim into a building if at all possible because lightning indeed can strike twice in the same place. If thunderstorms are in the forecast, postpone your outside activities. There are circumstances, however, where you might be caught outside and unprepared for a lightning storm. In these cases, leave high ground like ridges or hills. Don't take cover under isolated trees. If you're in the middle of the forest, you can't avoid the trees, but stay near the lower trees if you possibly can. Avoid rocky overhangs or cave entrances as shelters. Someone at the entrance could form a conduit between the cave roof and the cave floor. The same goes for the covered porch of a house. Stay away from conductors like lakes, streams, or other bodies of water. Avoid lying flat on the ground, but stay in a low crouch with as little of your body touching the ground as you possibly can. Don't touch barbed wire fences, power lines, or anything else that conducts electricity. If you're in a group, some say to stay 10 feet apart. This actually may make an individual more prone to being struck, but it lessens the likelihood of multiple casualties and increases the chance of having uninjured rescuers at hand. Hearing about a person struck by lightning may be shocking, but not as much as if you were the victim. Be prepared to make wise choices whenever there's electrical activity in your area. This is Joe Alton, MD, that old Dr. Bones, wishing you the best of health and good times or bad. Thanks for watching. Hey, I know you don't have all the medical supplies and personal protection items you'll need in times of trouble, so why not check out our entire line of kits, supplies, and more at store.doomandbloom.net.